Android 12 introduced new dedicated splash screen APIs. Starting in Android 12, the splash screen API enables new launch animations for all apps when running on a device with Android 12 or higher. As you see in this Gmail splash screen example, so there is an animation into the app like when you launch the app there is an animation and it shows the gmail icon with a white background and after that there is again a transition animation to the app itself so let's explore this in detail i have here android 12 and android 10 so let me first demonstrate the splash screen implementation the default splash screen implementation in android 12 so for that i have here a hello world app this is the hello world splash screen app which we will be modifying in this tutorial if i open the default app you can see that by default there is a splash screen and it uses the default app icon as the splash screen icon so the background is white and that white color is picked up from the default team background of the app and the same app if i open it up in android 10 then we could see there was no splash screen at all okay and this is the case for all the apps like for example if i open clock app you can see the clock default app icon was there and the background was this gray color and the same thing if we open it up here it didn't have any splash screen okay so google has provided many customization options to customize the default splash screen for example we could change the icon the background or we could increase the duration of splash screen so now we will go ahead and customize our splash screen app and we will explore all these options in detail so i have the splash screen app opened here so most of the customizations can be done in the themes.xml so here we could um, customize all these splash screen properties so we could change the splash screen background color then the animation duration of splash screen so please note that this is not the duration of the splash screen itself instead it's the duration of the animation and then we have the splash screen animated icon the icon background color and a branding image and this branding image will be coming at the bottom so now let's go ahead and enable these uh, properties one by one so first we will check the background so i have set it to black color so you could see the background was black color so now let's check the icon so you could see the icon was added now let's change the icon background to white color. Okay, so there was this round white color, right? So that was the background. And then maybe we could add some duration for the for this animation. okay so there was that animation there but since the splash screen timing was less we couldn't really see that so we'll try changing the splash screen duration soon and now finally there we could also add a branding image at the bottom so for the branding image i have used the launcher foreground icon so just delete all this okay so now let's run it again so there was that um, logo at the bottom so i'll just run it once again from here and see there was that uh, logo at the bottom so we have covered all the properties within the themes which we could customize okay so now let's see how we can change the splash screen duration so for that we have to go to the main activity to increase the splash screen duration we have to basically add an on pre draw listener within the on create method okay and what this does is that it will get called before the first pixel is drawn by your app so within this on pre-draw you could check whether all your data for the app is ready or not so if it is ready then you could just go ahead and remove this on pre-draw listener okay and then it will further go ahead with the on create and it will draw your app to the screen else if the data is not ready then you could just go ahead and return false so that it will wait okay so now i have set it to true so that it will be always true and it will go ahead and remove and you won't see the splash screen if i change this to false we'll see what happens okay 
so you could see now that the splash screen is there and it's not going away so because it's always false it will never go so ideally in the real business scenario you have to have a variable here which will be true when the data is ready for your app we also have a way to set an exit animation listener so once the splash screen is over we could have a transition or an animation before the app loads okay so for that you should use the splash screen object and set an exit animation listener okay so in this particular case we are setting up a slide up transition animation okay so here we are setting up the slide up animation and then at the end of the animation we are removing the splash screen view and then we are starting on the animation so let's see how it looks like now can you run so you could see that animation towards the upside right that is uh, the slide up transitions let me open it up again okay okay so that's it i hope we have covered everything related to the splash screen in android 12 so in case if you like the contents please subscribe to this channel and you can also download the project from the github the link is in there in the description thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.